Hi, today we're gonna to go through five hip mobility exercises for cycling. The first one we're gonna do um, is this hip internal rotation exercise. So we're gonna come into our base 90-90 position. We're gonna be working on the trail leg first. So the trail leg comes out behind us in this 90 degree angle. We lean back a bit, sink down, and we should be feeling a stretch on the outside of the hip here. I don't wanna be feeling any pinching on the front if that happens, lean back a bit more and see if you can find it easier that way. Once we find that stretch on the outside back side of the hip, we hold it for two, three minutes. Sink deeper, just breathe. And when our time is up, we're gonna start driving our shin, our knee and foot down into the floor. Start off with 10, 20% effort. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, keep focusing on that foot. 90%, squeeze tension through our entire body. And with our greatest, safest effort, press down 100%, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Maintain tension. And now we're going to try to pull the foot off the floor. Doesn't need to come off the floor, we just need to try. So just try to lift the foot, lift the foot, lift the foot. Pull, pull, pull. Might cramp on the back side of the hip. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Repeat that to, for two, three sets uh, to improve hip internal rotation. For hip external rotation, we're gonna come onto the front lead leg instead. So we're gonna be coming out with this 90 degree angle in both our knee and our hip. Chest tall, straight back, and then we lean forward. Find that stretch in the back side of the hip. Hold that position now for two, three minutes. Try to avoid any pinching. If it pinches, just come back a bit, avoid the stretching part. We feel the stretch, sink deep, and hold. After two, three minutes, we're gonna be driving our whole shin, knee, and ankle down into the floor. Start pressing down 10, 20%. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Start tensing your entire body, 90%. Take a deep breath, safest, greatest effort, and press down as hard as we can. Drive down, drive the foot down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And from here, we're gonna to try to Pull our knee and foot off the floor. Pull, pull, pull. Lift the foot off the floor. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So our next exercise, we're gonna come into this bear sit position here. We wanna sit tall, keep our foot up, feet apart just a bit. Grab onto our ankles, elbows pressing into our knees, knees pressing into our elbows. We should be feeling a stretch on the inside thigh up into our groin area. Hold that stretch for about two, three minutes. And after that, we're gonna start by pulling our knees in, elbows pressing back out. We're not moving, we're solidifying the position. Start pressing in, 10, 20%. 30, 40, feel those groins working. 50%, 60, 70, sit tall. 80%, 90, take a deep breath, full body tension and squeeze 100%. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Maintain tension and now we're gonna try to pull our knees apart. Pull those knees apart, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Sit tall, sit tall, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and relax. Our next exercise is gonna be a straight leg hip flexion. Uh, we can come into many different positions. We can sit either like a pancake split like this. I prefer sitting with one leg down, it makes it easier for me. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna squeeze my right thigh, drive my left foot down into the floor, sit up tall, and lift and hold three, two, one, come down. Squeeze my thigh, lift up, hold. Three, two, one, touch down. 
squeeze, lift, hold, three, two, one. If it's too easy, we can come further up. It's gonna make it very difficult to lift. And if it's too difficult, lean back a bit further, squeeze and lift up that way. Our last exercise is gonna be a hip car, which means controlled articular rotation. And that means that we're gonna be moving our hip through its full active range of motion to really strengthen its, the hip in all its positions. Uh, we can do this in quadruped. So we're gonna come up in all fours, keep our back straight. We're gonna bring our knee up towards our chest. Once we can't get any further, we're gonna lift the knee out to the side, keep the knee high, bring the foot up to the sky, and then we're gonna circle back around. Foot comes straight behind us, knee straight behind us, come down. From here, kick straight back, foot stays high, knee comes high, out to the side, knee to armpit, knee to chest, come down. One rep. Come forward, knee to chest, out to the side, foot to the sky, circle around, knee straight behind us, down. Kick back, foot stays high, knee comes to the side, knee to armpit, knee to chest, touch down. Repeat those for a few times. Remember, quality over quantity. When you start breaking down that movement, you've lost your full active range and take a break from there. So that concludes our five hip exercises for cycling. Do those as part of your warm up, just to improve mobility for a bit, but do them more often as part of your training if you really want to improve your performance. Thank you, good luck, and I'll see you next time.